Hello everybody, it's Connor from Synergy Gaming, and this is CGN for Sunday the 20th of July. And um, before we start, I've got to say happy Sunday, because it's Sunday and everybody should be happy. Anyway, game releases for this week, we've got a few on Tuesday the 22nd of July, we've got Oddworld, New and Tasty, whatever the hell that game is, that's coming out for the PS4. I couldn't find an age rating for that one, I'm afraid, so apologies. Um, we've also got Oli Oli coming out for PC, Mac, and Linux. That's coming out on Steam, and that is rated a 3. And um, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Amid the Ruins. That's coming out for the PSN, PS Vita, PC, and Mac. And, of course, right at The Walking Dead is an 18. Also on Tuesday the 22nd, I have no idea how this game got Game of the Year award. It is one of the worst racing games I have ever played. For the Motorsport 5 Game of the Year edition. Coming out for the Xbox One. That's rated a 3. Well, well done to it anyway, but in my opinion, it's not my favourite racing game. On um, Wednesday the 23rd of July, you've got a... Wait, Wednesday the 23rd? Uh, is that the 20... Yeah, sorry, that's the 22nd. Oh, I'm just thinking of today's date, sorry. Um, we've got Unrest coming out for PC, Mac, and Linux, which is also a Steam release. And again, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Amid the Ruins, coming out for Xbox Live Arcade. And that's also an 18+. plus. Uh, just to let you know as well, The Walking Dead Season 2 is a bit like The Wolf Among Us. Everything has been being released in different stages. So also on Thursday the 24th, we've got The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, blah, 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 again, but for iOS. Um, that's it for the game releases this week. There wasn't that many. I think come September, we'll have a lot more coming out. And, yeah, obviously, November is definitely the biggest month for the year for game releases. So we probably won't have many brilliant games until then. Anyway, on to the news. We have got uh, Google no longer listing apps as free. You might think, well, what's this got to do with games? It has quite a big uh, relation to games, actually. So, on Friday, the European Commission announced a press release that recommends that online app distributors should make it clear about games with microtransactions and that they should not advertise these games as being free. So far, Google is the only distributor, so which with Google Play, uh, to have taken this advice. Free apps are no longer have free written next to them, and is instead blank, so it just doesn't say anything next to them, which I think is a better idea. On the download screen, it now states that the app contains microtransactions. Apple have... Yeah, uh, that should be have. Or is it ha I don't know, I'm no good with grammar. Um, Apple has... Pr Apple have proposed... I don't know, it's either has or have. Somebody correct me. Apple has proposed to address these issues, however, they have not yet confirmed anything. As far as I know, this could be European law by September. So... Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but... Normally when the European Commission do say stuff, it does eventually get legalised. But uh, Google, they had... V I think Google have actually been praised for having very quick action for that. Whereas Apple have had... Well, had it slammed back in their faces really because... They only really care about money, Apple, so... Yeah. Anyway, on to the next subject, which Xbox One sales increased in June. Uh, Microsoft recently announced that the sales of their Xbox One console had doubled in June compared to the previous month's sales. And before you ask, I do know what the previous month is. It's May. It just sounds a bit more posh, more professional if I wrote it that way. Uh, this comes after Microsoft released the Xbox One as a standalone package without the Kinect sensor being included. Another thing that helped the sales was, a pro was the price tag without the Kinect sensor. The cheapest X1 pack, Xbox One package sorry, is £349.99 as opposed to £389.99 which includes the Kinect sensor. The PlayStation 4 is also £349.99 and currently the PS4 is selling more than the Xbox One. However, Microsoft are now expecting Xbox One sales to grow even more in the, even more in the months to come. Uh, sorry, I do have a bit of a cold. So Microsoft, that is pretty much the result of not including Kinect. I have to say, I'd be with those. If I, I got mine on day one, so it did come with Kinect, but if I had the option to get it, uh, or not to get it, I would have not got it, because I don't use it. 
I have uh, it's plugged in, but I have no use for it. The only thing it's useful for is logging me in because I don't think they've added the automatic logins yet. So, and if they have, I haven't found out how to do it. I believe they are adding it though, if it's not already been added. Anyway, the last subject, uh, or last bit of news, EA is ending support for The Sims 2. EA recently announced on their website's Frequently Asked Questions section that they will be shortly ending support for the life simulation game The Sims 2. Despite the fact no new content and patches will be made for the 10 year old game, EA will continue to provide technical support for the game for those having difficulty with it. Not as there has been an expansion pack or stuff pack for about four years or so for this game now, since The Sims 3 came out. Uh, players who have a digital copy of the base game will also be entitled to The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, which includes all of the expansion packs and stuff packs ever released for the game. This move is possibly in preparation for The Sims 4's launch in September. It probably is. But Sims 2 is a great game. I absolutely love The Sims 2. Anyway, that is it for CGN uh, for the 20th of July. And um, just to let you know as well, our Let's Play The Sims 3 series, we have uploaded our 52nd episode, which is about just under 50 minutes long. So if you like this Let's Play The Sims 3, you need to watch that one. It's a good episode. We have a party. Pete goes to a party. And um, he goes skinny dipping in a hot tub. So yeah, check that episode out. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, leave comments if you will. You can correct my grammar on that article if you want. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Hopefully Pete will be here next time. He's on holiday at the moment, so hope he's having a nice holiday. But other than that, yep, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and um, goodbye.